Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasm, one of the last programs. We talked about what General Motors is bringing to the SEMA show. We also brought to you what Chrysler is bringing to the SEMA show. And now it's Ford's turn. Ford is actually hooked up with a fellow by the name of Vaughn Gittin Jr., which is actually a drifting ace that works right up for the Ford Motor Company in his Monster Energy Ford Mustang. Now, he's hooked up with Ford, and he's actually developed this, the all-new, all-aluminum Ford F-150, little concept piece that's going to be showing off at SEMA this year. Don't know a whole lot about this machine, know nothing about the power plant or transmission or anything like that. Have heard that this vehicle will have 12 inches of up and down suspension travel. Now, we've also heard that it's air ride suspension, so is it going to be something like you would have for maybe an off-road race truck, or is it going to be more of a deal where it's a cosmetic thing and you flip a switch and it'll add air to the bags and make the truck grow to a monstrous height? Boy, 12 inches is going to be awfully, awfully tall. So we'll wait and see. November 2nd isn't very far away when the SEMA Motor Show actually kicks off in Las Vegas, Nevada. Next up on the list, this is a little design study called the Paso Corto that was actually done by the folks over at IED Design School. And now it's been released that this vehicle may have been actually done for Hyundai. The Korean auto manufacturer may be going in a two-door sports car route. This could be their new Halo car, possibly. This is all coming from a fellow who is actually leaving Hyundai, working for Hyundai right now as one of the head honchos. He's heading over to Nissan. He is more than willing to spill the beans on what Hyundai's got coming in the future. Now, there's a lot of rumors floating about what this vehicle's going to be all about. Apparently, it's going to be a very lightweight, small package little automobile. There's a lot of people are pointing towards maybe a little uh, Mazda miata or maybe even a GT86 type of deal. It's a lot of talk that it may have the turbo version of the Veloster 4-cylinder, possibly. No word on whether it's going to be mid-engine, rear-wheel drive, if it's going to be front-engine, rear-wheel drive, maybe front-engine, front-wheel drive, maybe it's going to be all-wheel drive. We'll have to wait and see what comes of this, but hopefully we get to see a concept piece in one of the upcoming auto shows coming soon. Next up on the list, well, the folks over at Automotive News let out that actually the production run are actually producing 918 Spiders. The folks over at Porsche are going to be done mid-summer of next year. Talking about June, late June, early July, they'll be done producing Porsche 918 Spiders. Apparently, they're sold all the way up to April of 2015 which means there's only a handful of these suckers left. So if you've got a hankering for the highest of the high-end Porsche right now, probably one of the greatest supercars on the planet, there's only maybe a handful of automobiles that'll hang with this doggone thing, you better get down to your Porsche dealership right now. So, But a pretty neat little deal. Neat car, so can't wait to see one of these in the flesh. Supposedly one of the local dealerships, not too far from old Motor Cars HQ, is getting one pretty soon can't wait to lay my eyes on one. Next up on the list, well, the folks over at Porsche are working quite hard on the brand new mid-cycle refresh for the 911. Now, if you've checked around the, poked around the old interwebs, you may have seen a lot of those camo shots of this machine being tested where the camo is slowly getting smaller and smaller. A lot more of this vehicle is being revealed. But probably one of the more interesting things is the folks over at Car Magazine are reporting that possibly across the board, Porsche may be going forced induction, maybe going turbocharged. A lot of talk that the brand new 911 Carrera may be actually losing displacement from the 3.4 liter flat 6 that it's been running that's normally aspirated will actually be running a 2.9 liter turbocharged unit. Now, this makes you a little bit sad. The 350 horsepower that was on tap for the 3.4 will be bumped up to 400 brake horsepower. A lot better on that point. Not to mention 400 foot-pounds of torque. It'll be quite the cool piece. And not only the Carrera getting this treatment, possibly the Carrera S may be staying with the 3.8 liter twin turbocharged V6, or I should say Boxer 6 in this particular machine. 
We're talking 530 brake horsepower for this machine and over 500, or maybe 520 pounds feet of torque, which has got everybody salivating. If this is the case, what is the new turbo lineup going to have? What's the new GT3 possibly going to have? So, very interesting times. Is the displacement going to increase for the turbo versions or the GT3 or the GT2 along with some forced induction? So, very interesting. Nothing official as of yet on this particular deal, but hopefully we'll know a whole lot more very soon. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. If you want to jump on over to the Facebook page and like us over there, we'd appreciate it. Also, if you want to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time. Get the first dibs on the brand new shows as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again real soon.